But Johnny Clayton certainly is a very, very tough proposition. All smiles once again, Johnny Clayton, as you would expect, as we always know he does on the European Tour. Never looks to be in a foul mood, but Johnny Clayton has got a little bit of fight about him in his uh, demeanour as well. And things don't start going to plan. Uh, Paul Nicholson alongside Johnny to throw first. Game on. Yeah, I echo your sentiments there, Rob. I'm thoroughly looking forward to this one. Johnny Clayton is just a player that I love to watch. I think he's probably got the tag of the most underrated player in the PDC right now. And it's basically up to him to shoot forward and do more because he has got everything in his locker. 85. But what I do like, Rob, is that little jig <laughs> from Roxy. You know, he's not these young kids coming through, they've 85. all got something about them. They've got a little hook, whether it's a logo or a nickname or a dance. Well, Roxy's got both. And we answer the age-old question. Who wins in a fight between a chainsaw and a ferret? Well, it's not a fight, but it's a dark match. 55. And we will find out in the next 25 minutes who wins. Even though... I am still petitioning 41. Johnny Clayton to have the nickname Cash because it, Johnny Cash Clayton just rolls off the tongue really, really well. And I think I've been saying that now for about 12 months. I think I had a slip of the tongue earlier, by the way. It was last year when Roxy James uh, made the... 100! It came through qualifying here before losing to Nigel Hayden in the first round. I think I said 2013, but I meant last year. Back in the days when there were only two Rodrigue in the draw. Yes. And there's more in the crowd as well. The that looks plan. like a very proud Mrs. Rodriguez. The plan is here. There's loads of them. Roxy James, though. 140. January 140. Gets himself down to a finish. Clayton is already there on his throw. And the camera panned over to double 10, a bit prematurely there, but he did find the trouble 20 to leave himself double 10. Well, the spotter's got a crystal ball, he just knew that Johnny Clayton was going to have a shot at double yeah. 10. Treble 17 will left the ball. 57. Johnny, you require 10. So, double 5 for Clayton for the opener. We split it. 6. To no avail. Are you surprised by that? Four. A little surprised. I like the oh, game, of, a game of Johnny Clayton's usually very, very aggressive. Well, I thought he would have taken that by the uh, scruff of the neck, really, with uh... Rodriguez. Still got work to do here. Double 16 then. 32. Johnny, you require four. Well, you right. left it, Johnny. It's yeah, up to you to hit it. Two more clear darts here at double one. Game shot on the first leg. Yeah, Surely, sort of about his demeanour, didn't I? And uh, how his, uh, to throw first. mood can quickly change. He's uh, generally an all-smiles sort of guy, but when things start to frustrate him, you do know about it, put it that way. Yeah. But uh, came through it unscathed in the end. 59. No need for alarm just yet for Roxy James Rodriguez. That was on the Clayton throw. Roxy James, the oldest of the brothers. 25, born in November of 1991 has had a couple of achievements elsewhere. I mentioned his performances on the European Tour. The run to the last 16 of the European Darts Trophy three years ago was the pick of them, but uh, semi-finalist in the World Youth Championship in 2015, the uh, year that Max Hock was champion. He beat Benito van der Pass in the last 16 as well that year. And uh, he's done bits and pieces on the development tour as well. One semi-final appearance a couple of years ago. Is that RJ4? that we just seen on the camera. Stay tuned, folks. We haven't seen him in a few years. <laughs> Not to see. It's a dynasty. There are more Rodriguez than the New England Patriots have Super Bowls. 140. Well, Johnny Clayton showed about as much emotion at the end of the last leg as you ever see from him pretty much on the dartboard. But he came through unscathed in qualifying against Andy Bolton. And 58. Johnny, you require Mick 161. Todd. At the moment, he's bossing this game. He looks the most likely 
to hit trebles. Is he going to go for this? Oh, he oh, did, you know. 36. You cheeky little ferret. Yeah, happy to go for that one in an aggressive manner, but wasn't aggressive enough to go for double fives earlier. Anyway. 100. Johnny Uruguay, 25. Whatever you like, really. Nine double eights. Yeah. He does like this corner. And that's why yeah. she's right John in the corner again. Johnny yeah, Kurt Bevins just had to uh, double check that hadn't gone next door. Game on. And that's uh, Clayton hadn't uh, busted his score, but he's uh, yeah, opened up a 2 0 lead hit. Well, if you're going to put someone into the Lions' den and take on the Home Nation qualifier, I think John Clayton's very close to the top of that list because yeah. he's, he's not going to rile the crowd up by doing something silly. He's just going to go up there and do his thing, whether he wins a leg, whether he loses a leg. He's not going to show anything to the crowd. And that's why the crowd are singing generic chants right now yeah. because he's not giving them any ammunition. Absolutely. He's doing a really good job here, Johnny Clayton, so far. Next. Mentioned the fact that he didn't qualify for the event in Hamburg recently, but domestically he's been doing really, really well. Solid stuff. Made the quarterfinals of three successive Pro Tour events recently. Players' Championship 10, 11 and 12. The one in Wigan, the 96. Uh, first one in Wigan, they're the 10th Players' Championship event. He beat Adrian Lewis for a 6-0 defeat by Gary Anderson. So that was a... A tough little run for him, but he came through against one former world champion, but not the other. Although his best run, his best performance remains that run to the semis at Players' Championship 12 last summer. And again, he lost to Gary Anderson 6-0. Let's not forget, Johnny Clayton is the champion of champions. He is. And he has to defend that title very soon. 96. Tough one to win that. Yeah. Best of three all the way. Just still have to remind yourself that he's only in his third year as a as a professional, having joined the uh, Pro Tour in 2015. He won a tour card on the final day of Q School back then. It's uh, been a, a, a really transition. And it was nice the way he, well, he beat Gurin Price in the World Championship, didn't he, last December? And it was a meeting of two players who come through a very similar path and a very similar route to the uh, PDC circuit. Roxy require 109. Former, slightly, former teammates. Slightly teams. different players when it comes very to different players. demeanor and aggression. In but terms of the transition they've made, the, the, the career change they've made, it's, um, well, it gives hope to many people, really, that you can, you can make the switch. Johnny Uruguay, 56. Well, Roxy didn't make the switch to double 16 successfully. Johnny Clayton... Can he switch to tens and win? Game yes, he can. And, and he keeps Clayton. the crowd silent. Yeah. Well, that is Roxy to throw first. Game on. Well, Daryl Gurney awaits the winner of this one. And uh, as things stand, it looks as though it will be the Welshman going through to meet Super Chin tomorrow in the second round. Well, Johnny Clayton games. has the game to trouble someone. Johnny can lift his level to that 44. MVG style level of the 108, the mm. 110. I remember a game last year where Johnny Clayton played Diella Klaassen in Sindelfingen. 81. And Johnny Clayton missed nothing. 100 plus average and his doubles were exemplary. So if he can have that kind of performance to finish this game off and potentially against Gurney, he gets confidence, yeah. he can go on a run. We talked about the uh, the other side of Johnny Clayton. That was evident to a certain extent in Gibraltar when he played just in type in the first round, and he just felt there were some antics on stage that he didn't really fully appreciate and he didn't feel were in keeping with the game or the spirit of the game. And um, that's when we saw the I'd say the anger surface, but it certainly became a little bit more evident in him. Came through that match Whoa. against uh, Justin Pipe, but then lost to Dave Chisnell six four in the second round he's made the second round in all three of the euro tour events he's qualified for already this year so he's looking to just enter into that realm of you know final day territory which he did manage uh, last year at the uh, european darts grand prix in sindelfingen losing to james wade you know what this here rob you, you can't be because they are dragons after all doesn't it to uh, 110. 54. Roxy Maguire, Not seen a white wash today so far. Don't really like to see them. Many options on 110. 91 left and tops oh. is his target. Beautifully done. 
90. A lot of people going that way these days for 110. And logically, it's not the best shot, but for some reason, people like it. Mm. Roxy required 20. Maybe because it leaves double top as a really clear target and nothing will obstruct it. Double 10 for Roxy to get on the ball. Rodriguez is off the mark and on two on their feet as well. 25 year old. It's got to be some sort of record. It's got to be some sort of record for home nation qualifiers in a European Tour event. Mm. Five home nation qualifiers plus Menzur. That's six. 59. We will see Menzur against Ronnie Heibrecht tomorrow. I wonder what Ronnie's in for. <laughs> That's going to be a corker. You mentioned uh, Clayton's finishing. I mean, there we see the checkout stats today of uh, 10 so far. But I mentioned that defeat by James Wade in Sindelfingen at the end of last year. But in the first round, when he played Gabriel Clemens, he won 6 1. He hit 6 from 8 that day. Um, really, really good stuff. Beat Yellow Class in 6 1 uh, in the second round of the Fed. One hundred. And Johnny's one of those guys that doesn't fiddle with his equipment too much. He's got a formula that works. And he stands to the left of the Oki. 96. Johnny Uruguay, 161. 161. There's only one way to get this, really. And that oh. could be the... But he's going to go for this, you know. Because he did it earlier in the match. He wants that big finish. Yeah, the... Uh was missed, he hit 7 in 7. 60. Johnny Uruguay, and I say there was only one way to get 161, there's actually more ways, but really, 161 with the treble 17 option is the only way to go. The only way to go for this leg is double 16, and there it is. 4-1 Johnny, Johnny Clayton, Clayton. the ferret is outrunning the chainsaw. The throw first. Game on. Well, he's never really got going in this match, to be honest, uh, Rodriguez. It's been a, a difficult one for him to get involved in. Clayton's just not given him the 100. opportunities. Even though, I mean, there's room for improvement from Clayton here, don't get me wrong. Four from 13 on his doubles. Average of just below 90, but... 95. Just seems to have swung me well at just the right times, and Rodriguez just has not been given that amount of encouragement. Averages of 81 don't really help either. 60. We always felt that Roxy's average game really needed to be lifted to be Johnny Clayton because yeah. 100 it's not going to give you much yeah well Clayton's had 15 visits of 100 or more and Roxy James has had seven that's the difference okay he's had 1180 as well but that is the yeah. crucial difference and uh, okay bang on cube he's rattled in another for good measure but Johnny won't be pressing the panic button just yet. It's on the uh, Rodriguez throw here. 95. Roxy require 161. There's a better leg. 340 scored from nine darts is good darts. Got to utilise the switch now and leave this handy because Johnny Clayton, 42. if he puts in a big one here, it's a totally different leg. Yeah, 42 scored there. That's the thing with Rodriguez, just underlining what I was saying. You know, he's had moments where he's had a couple of 180s, a couple of tons of 40s as well, but Roxy either side of it, there's not been a great deal. And Clayton's back in the frame here. He's just been creeping up on him while Roxy makes that one mistake. And the likelihood is 59. Johnny Clayton's going to get a shot at a double here. And he will expect to. Treble 18 will oh. give him a shot at tops. Brilliant. 94. Roxy requires a long way below the wire. Yeah, he won't be happy with that effort. I don't think Tops has been his friend in this game, really. But it's going to have to be Roxy's friend. Big step over to the left-hand side there for Roxy. Oh, well, too much. You can look at the angle of the way the dart has gone on the board, and I am 20. shocked that he didn't go to the right-hand side. I am amazed. 
Well, he did take a big, big step over, yeah, didn't he? Sean, the sixth leg. Sean Equator. It's no coincidence. Seven leg is joining us on first. Far Came over on. to the other side. I mean, that was almost in the middle of the five bit, wasn't it? And, uh, well, Roxy James Rodriguez, that was his leg at his mercy there, and he's lost it. And it's 5 1. It's another break, and Clayton is cruising here now. And, uh, well, into cruise control even further. Absolutely magnanimous stuff from Johnny Clayton. You steal the leg, you start what could be the last leg of the match with a 180. I've already mentioned he's champion of champions, so he's a good short format player. He can sprint. 43. Sixty. Sixty. Well, Wales just seems to. But we could reel off so many greats, but right now we're talking about the likes of Gerwin Price. We're talking about Johnny Clayton. We could reel off so many greats, but right now we're talking about the likes of. Gerwin Price. We're talking about Johnny Clayton. And it's great to see Mark Webster playing great again. Yeah, and we're talking about Jamie Lewis as well, just yeah. going against uh, Van Lemberg. That was a really good, doggy performance, I thought, by uh, Jamie Lewis. You know, it was every, every, every leg was a throw against a really difficult opponent, but he just kept plugging away. And even though Van Lemberg kept on coming back at him, he just stayed focused and held his throw six times. Was, yeah. Jamie Lewis's attitude is. Spot. Nothing short of perfect sometimes. Yeah. And double 12 and double 6 for the match. Game shot. It's and all over. Johnny and Clayton. a fire in the belly of the Welshman takes out RJ number 1. And there's only one standing. And you wouldn't want to be Richie Edo.